Good morning. I am uh, Katarina, an employee of Medils and the leader of the group Biology of Robustness. Uh, I am very happy and honored uh, to host uh, Professor Tatiana Paunescu from uh, Chicago, from uh, Radiation Oncology uh, Department of uh, Feinberg School of Medicine, uh, Northwestern University. It's one of the best uh, universities in the United States. So. Uh, Tatiana, uh, welcome to Split, welcome to Medils, and uh, I would like you to know that we are really uh, happy to have a chance to hear about your uh, work on developing a custom-made uh, microbeam in your department. And uh, uh, what is the most important part of this is that uh, microbeam experiments will be hopefully some of the key experiments related to our project on cellular parabiosis within the Croatian Science Foundation funded uh, project. And we also got funding for performing these experiments. Uh, so we are very excited about uh, using this um, in our uh, work when we come to visit you in Chicago. So just to give a brief uh, explanation why uh, microbeam is important for us, uh, namely we are studying cellular parabiosis as I previously mentioned and uh, that uh, should be a natural mechanism uh, for the cells uh, we, uh, within a heterogeneous uh, tissue to uh, delay the development and propagation of uh, harmful age-related phenotypes. And uh, to achieve this heterogeneity in a cell culture dish, uh, we are trying to mimic um, uh, physiological conditions by inflicting some kind of age-related damage uh, in individual cells that are already integrated uh, in a tissue. And this is impossible to achieve by any of the standard uh, methodology that we use here. Uh, so that's why we uh, want to use a microbeam that will target uh, specifically individual cells. And this is where uh, Tatiana uh, came in, uh, first with uh, her expertise in um, studying radiation, and then with an idea uh, that uh, we could use microbeam, one of the microbeam facilities uh, worldwide, and uh, her suggestion was a microbeam facility at Columbia University. However, in the meantime, Tanya got intrigued by uh, these experiments, and she started to develop a microbeam uh, on her own in collaboration with engineers and uh, other colleagues from uh, Chicago. And she is about to complete this work, so it will be ready uh, for us when we visit her sometime in the fall. So this was a pretty lengthy introduction to explain the importance of uh, this uh, visit here and uh, you getting to know our uh, team members. Uh, and uh, now, uh, Tanya, please uh, give us a brief overview of your uh, work and uh, then more specifically about uh, your work on microbeam and about this workshop here. Okay, thank you, Katerina. So I'm really delighted to be here at Medals. It is lovely here and I'm truly enjoying myself. And I'm really happy that uh, you have me um, interacting with your students and with your colleagues, and I'm happy that we have a chance to talk at length about different experimental plans. So I will first do a very brief introduction for the audience um, about myself. Um, I have been a graduate of the University of Belgrade, and I have gotten my master's degree in, at University of Belgrade in I think it was 1990 or 1989, something like that. And after that, I have moved to United States and I've gotten my PhD at the IIT, uh, Illinois Institute of Technology in Chicago. I have been a student of Professor Gail Wallaschuk and I've continued to be in her lab. And with her, I have moved from uh, Argo National Lab, where I've moved initially to Northwestern University. 
So because Northwestern is um, interested in radiation and special radiation biology, we have continued to pursue this um, field of investigation uh, using every possible um, means of um, studying radiation. So we have used some um, heavy ions that we could access at um, Argonne National Lab in collaboration with some physics department people. We have worked with um, X-ray synchrotron uh, that is also at Argonne National Laboratory. And in our own department, we have used patient irradiators to look at effects of radiation on cells in cell culture and so on. And we also use small box irradiators. However, just as you have mentioned earlier, when we are working with these devices, in most cases, the field of radiation is large and it is very difficult to uh, see the differences between different cell types, uh, um, changes in interactions between cells that are and are not irradiated. And so all of these events that are really heterogeneous that happen when a patient is irradiated or somebody is exposed to radiation from the environment, all of those effects are actually bypassed because you have a very homogeneous situation both in terms of biology and in terms of radiation um, as radiation injury. So um, we have been interested in X-ray and again like proton and other types of microbeams for a long while and amongst those uh, Columbia microbeam is probably the best known in America. And initially, when you said how your lab is interested um, in working with the same um, working with the same sort of device, though obviously for a different purpose, um, I was suggesting that Columbia would be the best place to go to. However, in the meantime, it turned out that um, our lab was joined by an X-ray enthusiast, Peter Ziba, who cares about X-rays mostly for imaging. Uh, but he has realized from talking to me and others in the lab that actually using radiation for treatment is just as important. We have convinced him to create for us a device that could be used to sort of draw um, X-ray lines over relatively small areas um, of space. So um, we are now going to try to develop this device fully to use it in our different experiments. Uh, we are mostly uh, focused on changes you know, on the fact that different dose rates of radiation have different um, effects in terms of injury to cancer tissue versus normal tissue. It appears to be that so-called flash doses of radiation are more um, easier on normal tissue. Normal tissues do not get injured from flash dose rates as from regular dose rates, whereas cancer cells get injured equally regardless of what dose rate of radiation is used. So that is the focus of our lab. And using this uh, sort of X-ray scribe machine, we can, we can explore that. However, for you and for your lab, what will be interesting is the fact that some cells will be radiated and their neighbors will not, so you can study parbiosis and assisted suicide or any other of the endpoints that um, an aging focused lab is interested in. So, so I'm really glad that we are starting this collaboration and I'm excited to work more and I'm hoping that this will blossom into even a lot bigger projects and um, other collaborations. Yeah, great. So, Tanya, uh, you are organizing a workshop here where uh, you're providing some basic uh, understanding of the radiation biology and uh, then you are focusing on uh, microbeam, uh, which is, uh, as I previously mentioned, really important for our uh, students in postdoc postdocs and for myself. Uh, have you ever done this before? Is this your first uh, microbeam uh, workshop? Yes, yes it is. Um, I have, I have um, been really delighted to have this uh, visit as a reason to develop a mini curriculum about microbeams and to try to come up with a series of 
few lectures that will explain both what is X-ray radiation and how one can look at it as a source of accelerated aging, if you will, and then how the microbeam could be used um, by your lab and other labs in general. So I was um, uh, happy to come here and to present um, both uh, material that is about microbeams in general and about the microbeams that we have in the lab specifically. Yeah, and how are uh, your impressions about split and uh, yeah. Dalmatia? Uh, yeah, it is wonderful here. I, I could not be, I could not be more delighted. It, I love, I love everything about this environment. Um, I have enjoyed my time here the, at the institute. Everything is really lovely, and the grounds are lovely. And then when I go around after the day is over. City of Split is wonderful with its many beaches and lovely restaurants and everything else. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, great. So, I hope you will enjoy the rest of your stay and thank you so much uh, for being with us and for giving us an opportunity to work with you on your microbeam. Thank you. Thank you for the invitation.